Hello, you're welcome to our lecture series on biological techniques. Today's lecture will be on microscopy. In the course of our discussion, we'll look at the introductory part and we'll also look at very important aspects of microscopy, such as magnification and resolution. Now, what is microscopy? Magnif uh, microscopy is a science of investigating small objects using a microscope. The investigation or the study of microscopic organisms by using a microscope is said to be microscopy. Now, what is a microscope? A microscope is an instrument that is used to see microscopic objects or organisms. And what are microscopic organisms? They are organisms that we cannot see with our naked eyes. Microscopic organisms are organisms that can't be seen with our naked eyes, such as bacteria and some form microscopic fungi, the, the, the protozoans like Amoeba, Paramecium, Chlamydomonas, and many others. Those organisms we cannot see with our naked eyes are said to be microscopic organisms. So the instrument that's used to see these organisms is called a microscope. The word microscope is derived from the Greek words micros, which means small, and scopion, which means to look. So if you now all see, if you now join these two words together, it means small to look. So organisms that are too small to be seen are microscopic and they are the, the instrument that's used to see these organisms is said to be a microscope. The function of a microscope is to enhance magnification and resolution. Microscope enhances magnification and resolution. Now, what's the meaning of magnification? Magnification is the ratio of the image size to the actual size of the object. It is said to be the ratio of the image size to the actual size. It is said to be the apparent enlargement of an object, the apparent enlargement of an object, making an object bigger than its actual size when seen in the microscope is said to be the magnification, the object is said to be magnified, to, made, to be made bigger. A microscope's total magnification is a combination of the eyepieces and the objective lens. The total magnification of a microscope is a combination of the eyepiece of the microscope and the objective lens. It is the multiple of the eyepiece and the objective lens magnification. The eyepiece usually of the compound light microscope has a magnification of times 10. And it has other magnifications like times 40. Now, for instance, a microscope with uh, times 10 eyepiece and a times 40 objective has times 400 magnification. To get that, you multiply 10 by 40 to give you a magnification of 40. So that gives you the magnification of the object that's been investigated with the microscope. Magnification and resolution of a microscope depends on the type of microscope. The magnification on and the resolution of a microscope depends on the type of microscope. For instance, most compound or optical microscopes have maximum useful magnifications of times 1,500 and resolutions of 100 to 200 nanometers. But that of uh, the electron microscope has higher magnification. The electron microscope possesses high magnifications and resolutions than the compound light or optical microscopes. They have higher magnification. For instance, the transmission electron microscope has maximum useful magnification.
multiplication of times 500,000 to 1 million times magnification and the resolution of one to two nanometers. While the scanning electron microscope has a maximum useful magnification of times 10,000 to times one, uh, 1 million and the resolution of one to 10 nanometers. So the electron microscope tend to have higher magnification and higher resolution than the optical microscope or the compound light microscope. Now, what is resolution? Resolution is the ability of a microscope to distinguish between two very close points. The ability of a microscope to distinguish two very close points. Now, for instance, if you uh, are using a micro, uh, your phone, for instance, to zoom uh, an object when you want to snap it with your camera, when you zoom it, the more you zoom it, the, the image becomes blur. But there are some uh, phones that have cameras that can zoom and the pictures will still remain very clear even when they are being zoomed. So you can now compare that to what a microscope does. If a microscope is able to magnify an object and you can still see the, the parts of the object very clearly, distinctly, it is said to be the, it have, have a very high resolution. So the resolution is the ability of a microscope to distinguish two very close points. It describes the ability of a microscope to distinguish details, to distinguish details. Even after magnification, the object or the organism should be very clear. The organelles, for instance, of the organism should be clearly seen. And that's what resolution means. In other words, Resolution is the maximum distance at which two distinct points of a specimen can still be seen as separate entities. The minimum, the minimum distance, the minimum distance at which two distinct points of a specimen can still be seen as separate entities. That's what my, uh, resolution basically means. The resolution of a microscope is intrinsically linked to the numerical aperture of the optical components as well as the wavelength of light that is passed through the lens which is used to examine the specimen. It is linked to the numerical aperture of the optical components as well as the wavelength. The wavelength is determined by the color of light. The wavelength that's uh, used, the wavelength of light that's been utilized for viewing microscopic organisms is determined by the color of light. What is numerical aperture? The numerical aperture of a microscope objective is a measure of its ability to gather light and resolve fine specimen details at a fixed objective distance. A measure of a microscope's ability to gather light and resolve fine specimen details at a fixed objective distance. That's what numerical aperture basically means. The image forming light, light waves pass through the specimen and enter the objective in an inverted cone. Now I want to look at a numerical aperture of a lens. That depends upon two parameters. The numerical aperture of a lens depends on two parameters. And these parameters are the angle of incidence of light onto the lens and the refractive index of the glass of which the lens is composed. The angle of incidence is also known as the cone angle, and half of this value is designated by the symbol theta. Now, thank you very much for watching. Our next lecture will be on 
the types of microscopes and their uses. Keep watching our series on biological techniques.